Back in October of 2007, Half-Life 2 Episode 2 released, and like many gamers out there, I played it, I loved it, I was emotionally stricken by its ending, and uh, in, in hot anticipation awaiting Half-Life 2 Episode 3, or Half-Life 3, which would continue that story and ultimately help us resolve what really ended on such a high emotional moment. But now 17, almost 18 years later, we are still waiting for that moment. <laughs> and over the years, there's been a lot of rumors that have come out here and there about Half-Life 3, does it exist? Is it being worked on? Is Valve going to make it? And today is rumor number 1004 on Half-Life 3. And um, I saw this and I just figured I would add my two cents to it. So to give you a little highlight of what's going on, I was reading a Eurogamer article. Essentially, there's this voice actor, her name's Natasha Chandel. Um, she does voice acting work and on her site was listed a credit as a voice actor in a product being developed by Valve. And the product is under a code name, Project White Sands. That's currently the code name. And a lot of people were speculating online, well, White Sands is a park in New Mexico, which is also where Black Mesa is in the game's universe. And so maybe there's some connection there as to what they're working on. I guess only time will tell. Um, but I did want to just share my perspective on where Valve is as a company. Valve makes six, seven billion dollars annually in sales, to my understanding, and they have still to this day a core development team of people who work on games at Valve. Uh, they haven't released a game in many years. They've done some updates to their products. The last big release by Valve was Artifact, and to my understanding, didn't do so well. I never tried the game out. Um, and then there was Half-Life Alex, of course, but while I have an understanding that the game was fantastic, it is limited to a small market due to its use of VR, which is still, uh, I would say, in a in a um, adopter phase. It hasn't really reached a point of critical mass mainstream success, and so I don't know how many folks have actually played Alex. I watched some of a playthrough and got a lot of the big story beats, and I'll personally say that from that perspective. I didn't really care on where they were taking the story of Half-Life with Alex. I really wanted it to stay away from a lot of the um, story tropes that it decided to develop in. And so that alone for me kind of left me feeling iffy on where they were taking it direction wise. Another big thing I wanted to share is that they, if they are working on Half-Life 3 or Episode 3, um, there's a very fantastic Reddit post from a handful of years back that share with you where are all the developers who worked on Half-Life 2 and what are they doing with their lives now. And a big thing if you go through that list is many of the core developers from those original games are no longer at Valve, um, including the writer Mark Laidlaw who built out the entire story and narrative of Half-Life as we know it, the universe and so on and so forth. And so when you think about all the core developers being gone, the main writer being gone, um, if they are working on a Half-Life 3, what my perception and what my expectation would be, what I would want that game to be, I'm sure would be very different from what we would anticipate or get. And so that is an expectation that you have to kind of have in the assumption that they are working on the game. And so after 17 or 18 years, being someone who's gone through um, all stages of grief <laughs> about whether we were going to ever get Half-Life 3. I'm kind of sitting on the sidelines now, not so excited one way or another, because one of the core things about great games and their sequels is that oftentimes those products have a continuous vision by a continuous team. It's not expected that someone who worked on a game 20 years ago would still be at the company but losing that talent and the folks that were originally around that product, I think hurts the potential success of the game from a quality and um, enjoyment perspective. I mean, you just never know if new developers working on the product will have similar vision, similar investment, and similar uh, goals to make the game what people would have anticipated 
in the first place. And so very interesting little rumor that we saw today. Um, I'm assuming we will see some developments down the road. I think today now this voice actor's um, website is down, <laughs> but eh, a little too late. I guess we're going to find out in the coming months, years, decades, or never at all. So uh, glad to have the opportunity to inform you. Um, if you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe. Would love you to stick around for more content in the future. And again, hope you guys have a good day. What are your thoughts on these rumors? I don't know. Kind of up in the air for me. <laughs> All right. See you guys.